tooth whenever I, they've been crab, oh my gosh. and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my current favorite snacks. So I'm going to be sharing five salty and five sweet snacks that are a little bit lower in points on Weight Watchers and just the current things I've been reaching for lately. So if you enjoy this video or find it helpful please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and let's get started. So I'm actually going to start with sweet because I do have one extra sweet compared to the salty today, I've got six. But I just like to do these videos because I like to share the things that help to keep me on track that are lower in points, like I said. Some of these options maybe have a little bit more protein or a little less sugar than normal options I would have bought before I started my weight loss journey. And I just think it's helpful to share the different things that I enjoy. So I realize it's actually been over six months since I made one of these videos where I share my current snacks. And honestly, not much has changed since I posted the last one. I still find myself reaching for a lot of the same things right now although there's some new things that I have today so I'm excited to share them I'm gonna go ahead and start with a sweet because I've got more sweet than salty first thing I'm gonna share today is something that I've definitely shared on my channel multiple times this brand specifically and it is skinny dipped so I love so many of their products but recently I have two things that I've been eating a lot lately and they're just a little bit lower point options or a little bit less sugar. So when it comes to their dipped nuts, what I like about them is that they're not super coated. So you can see it's a little bit of a lighter coating versus like normal chocolate nuts. So you can have a bigger serving that isn't as high in points as like normal chocolate nuts that you would buy. And one thing I like about them is that they have a lot of different unique flavors. So this is one of my favorites. It is their Lemon Bliss almonds. And I actually just found these and the dark chocolate sea salt cashews at Fresh Time on sale for half off. So I bought a bunch of bags of these because they're so good. The lemon ones are so refreshing. I like to have them as like a summer dessert. They also have a strawberry lemonade one that they released. I feel like it's just like limited time, but it's so good. So I got these and they're a little bit higher in points if you have the full serving, but a lot of the time I don't, I'll just have like a couple of the nuts. But for the serving of 16 almonds, it's seven points on Weight Watchers, 140 calories. It's got five grams of sugar, three grams of fiber and three grams of protein. And then these are six points on Weight Watchers for the serving of about 12 cashews, which again, they're a pretty good size. So sometimes I'll just have a half serving and I like to add it even to like snack mixes. If I make like a popcorn bowl, it adds a good chocolatey taste to it. But for the serving of 12, it's 140 calories and six points. It's got nine grams of fat, 14 carbs, three grams of fiber, five grams of sugar, and four grams of protein. That is just one of the things that they have that I like. They also have the peanut butter cups. So I actually got a bag from Costco. I just put it in this jar because it's just easy in the pantry that way. So they have these mini dark chocolate peanut butter cups and they are two points for one. I think when you scan them, it scans as four points, but if you type in the nutrition, it's two points for one of them. They have 70 calories, five grams of fat, six carbs, three grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. So a little bit of fiber, it's got a little protein and it's a little lower in sugar. And I just really like that these are dark chocolate and they have like a good bite to them. They're also really good frozen. So as a two point treat, like after dinner or something, or even after lunch when I want something sweet, I like to grab one of these. And I usually buy the big bag from Costco. Otherwise I can usually find their products at like Walmart or Target or Fresh Time. Okay, then a salty item, one that I talk about all the time, but I'm just gonna talk about it again today because I'm back on a kick eating these again. And I honestly don't think I've ever stopped, but I always talk about how the barbecue love corn are my favorite. This pack is two points. It's 90 calories, three grams of fat, and a gram of protein. It's got 14 carbs and a gram of fiber, but these are the barbecue ones. This one's a little bit bigger than the regular sea salt ones I have right now. These are one point for one, 45 calories, and seven carbs, one gram of fiber. But lately, the sea salt have been my favorite. I don't know why, they just have the perfect amount of salt to them, the perfect crunch, and they're so good. They've been satisfying my salty cravings whenever I have them, and I love that it's just one point for the pack. So with these, I usually order them off of Amazon, but sometimes I also can find them in stores like Meyer or Woodman's. They're a lot of times by like the trail mix or like the nuts and stuff like that. So I really like these. They've got a few different flavors that I really enjoy, but lately the sea salt has been my favorite. It's so salty and it's got the perfect crunch. So if you love corn nuts, these are a really good option and they're low point. So I like to take a pack like hiking or if I'm just going to be out for the day, they're easy for Adam to pack for work. They're gluten-free. 
and just one of my favorite salty snacks. Okay, the next sweet thing that I'm talking about, these bear fruit rolls. So I usually buy the big box like this from Costco, but this is something I usually can find at any store at like Walmart, Meyer, Target, but it's usually by like the kids stuff or like by like the fruit roll up, stuff like that, or like fruit snacks. They are one point for the pack and this one comes with two flavors. So it's got apple pear strawberry and apple pear raspberry, but it's one point for a pack and each pack has two little fruit rolls in it like this, which to me, they taste the most like fruit leather. If you've ever had that, it's got like a little bit of that consistency. It's definitely not a regular like candy like fruit roll up, but I like that they taste like natural dried fruit. They have a good flavor to them and a good sweetness. Again, after lunch or dinner when I just want something sweet right away. So for one pack, it's 60 calories, 13 carbs, two grams of fiber and eight grams of sugar, but no added sugar because it's just made from dried fruit. So apples, pears and strawberries or raspberries and I I just really like these. So like I said, I get the big box from Costco, but usually can find them anywhere. But this is another snack that I like to also like bring hiking with me or if I'm gonna be like driving for a while and I just want something sweet, it kind of satisfies the craving for candy. So those are one of my favorites. And like I said, I'm pretty sure they're meant for kids because each one has like a trading card in it with an animal on it. But still, I love them and they are just a good low point option that have kept me on track throughout my journey. Okay, then the next salty thing I'm talking about, these are both open right now, but these are hippies, so let me open one of them. The brand is hippies and they are chickpea puffs. They definitely have a slight chickpea flavor to them and you can tell that they're like a plant-based snack, but honestly, I really like them for the white cheddar flavor. I also like the barbecue, but I like the crunch to them and I like that they kind of just remind me of like Cheeto puffs. For the serving of about 20 pieces, it's three points on Weight Watchers. So that's another thing I like is that you can have a good portion for three points. It's 130 calories, four and a half grams of fat, 19 carbs, three grams of fiber, one gram of sugar, and four grams of protein. So these are made with plant-based protein. They are vegan and gluten-free and they have no nuts. And they also have three grams of fiber in that serving. So. Overall, I feel like it's just a good option because they are chickpea puffs. They have a little bit of protein and fiber in them. And honestly, they're just good. They're satisfying because they're crunchy. They have good flavor to them. I wanna eat them now. But they do have a little bit of like a chickpea flavor to them. So if you expect that and don't expect them to taste like Cheetos, I really enjoy them. And I like them in like snack mixes and as like a side with sandwiches or wraps or just when I want something salty. Okay, the next sweet thing that I've been enjoying is a little bit higher point, depending on which flavor you get and the serving that you eat, but it is Honey Mamas. So this is all I have right now. We actually finished the Honey Mamas that we had and I need to go to Fresh Time and get more. That's the one place I've been able to find them usually. They have a bunch of flavors, like I mentioned, the lemon blueberry, peppermint mocha. I'm trying to think of all the flavors, pumpkin spice. We tried a bunch of their like limited edition flavors and love them and a lot of their regular flavors, which is like the coconut one. They have just like a plain one that they have and it's really good. There was another one we tried that was like an almond crunch that was one of my favorites. So every flavor that we've tried has been really good. These are the Mocha Crunch. I really like these as well. So they have a couple options. They have like the truffle treat bars like this, that, again, that I don't have any with me, but they I think are usually at like Target and stuff. And then I also like to get the square boxes from like Fresh Time where it has three sections in them. And then each section is usually like six points to eight points, depending on what flavor it is. And I'll put a picture of the square ones that I'm talking about versus like the truffle ones that I'm talking about, but all of them are good. Honestly, they're very similar in like the taste and texture. And that's what I like about them is that they have such a good sweetness and such good flavor and they're also really rich so it does feel like it's like a real truffle and it's something that you really don't need to have that big of a portion of for it to satisfy your sweet tooth and whatever you're craving so I've really been enjoying these. They do stay refrigerated, so they're usually in the refrigerator section. I definitely need to stock up on more of those because that has become one of my favorite desserts and honestly also Adam's, he loves them. And so a lot of times we just split the serving with each other so that we could just have like a three point serving or sometimes we'll have like a six point serving, but it just works out well as just like a quick sweet bite. Okay, the next salty thing I'm mentioning is pretty basic, but it's just regular air pop popcorn. It's zero points on Weight Watchers and it's so easy to just add some different seasonings and flavors to air pop popcorn. I talk about snack mixes all the time, which I'll link my video in the description where I show how I make them. But I start with a base of air pop popcorn and then I add a few other snacks to them to make them a low point option that has variety because I usually just do like one to two points of a snack in it. But sometimes I honestly just like plain air pop popcorn with a little bit of ghee spray, which I usually get the ghee spray from Walmart and I just spray a little bit on, add some salt. And then a lot of times I'll use 
those like kernel seasonings that they have. I think that's the brand kernel something. I'll have to double check that, but there's so many different flavors. And a lot of times I like to just use like the movie theater butter salt one that they have. And it's just so salty and buttery flavored and it satisfies my salty cravings. And you can have a good amount of air pop popcorn for zero points because it's a zero point food, but also, it's just like a filling snack that you can have a decent portion of. So for the serving of about five cups popped, it's 110 calories. It's got a gram of fat, 26 carbs, six grams of fiber. So also a good source of fiber and four grams of protein. Okay, the next sweet thing that I'm talking about is just a yogurt that I've really been enjoying. And I find myself buying it every time, even though I buy the plain vanilla ones for my nightly yogurt. I've been enjoying buying these caramel apple pie ones and I don't even need to add anything to them. So usually I don't like to eat just plain vanilla yogurt, but when I add my berries and granola to it, it's a good dessert that I have pretty much every night. But sometimes I like to have yogurt throughout the day, and when that's the case, this has become my favorite flavor to have. It's two points for this container, and a lot of times I find myself eating these during the day on days I skate and I'm just a little bit more hungry. It helps me to get a little more protein in, and like I said, this flavor is so good. It's got little apple chunks, which honestly I wish there were more apple chunks because that's my favorite part, but it's got a little bit of a cinnamon apple flavor to it. Two points on Weight Watchers for the container. It's got 80 calories, nine carbs, eight grams of sugar, and 12 grams of protein, and it is gluten-free, and just an option that I like to have on hand in the fridge. Okay, the next salty thing is something that I've mentioned, I think, before in these snack videos, but just another type of like chip that I enjoy that's lower in points. And so these are the Mosaic Real Veggie Chips. The flavor I have here is barbecue, which this one's my favorite, but I really do like the salsa one they have and the sea salt. So for this, it's only three points for the serving of about 20 chips, which I think is a nice serving. Another snack that I can add to, snack mixes, and it won't add a bunch of points if I even do just like one point serving. I could still have a handful of these and it adds to the snack mix. For the serving of 20, it is three points on Weight Watchers, 120 calories. It's got three and a half grams of fat, 18 carbs, two grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and three grams of protein. And these are another one that they're plant-based and they're gluten-free. And I just love the barbecue flavor on them. Honestly, it reminds me of just like barbecue potato chips. So that's why I enjoy them because it's a lower point option and it's got a little bit more like fiber and protein in it. It's got vegetables in it and they just have good flavor. So I usually like to just order these off of Amazon and they have like the variety packs with the different flavors, but the barbecue is definitely my favorite. Okay, the next sweet thing that I'm mentioning, these ready clean bars. So you can get the boxes of them at Costco. They have like a big box of each of these. I think there's like 12 in each and it's a 24 pack pack with both of them and the flavors are chocolate peanut butter and dark chocolate sea salt and the chocolate peanut butter has been my favorite since we started buying these a while ago but I've recently started eating more of the dark chocolate sea salt because we have way more of these we go through the peanut butter ones fast when we buy the two boxes but they're really good and I like that they have a good amount of protein and fiber in them so for one bar, it's five points on Weight Watchers. It's 200 calories, five grams of fat. It's got 28 carbs, seven grams of fiber, 10 grams of sugar, and 15 grams of protein. These are also gluten-free. And honestly, I just think that it's a good serving. They're a pretty decent sized bar for only five points on Weight Watchers. I think it's definitely worth it for that, but also the flavor is so good. The peanut butter ones are definitely more on the sweet side, but honestly, I really like them. They taste kind of like a peanut butter rice crispy treat with a chocolate layer on the bottom, and they're just one of my favorites. So they do have chicory root fiber in them, but it is nice that they have seven grams of fiber in one bar. I really do like that as well because fiber and protein are two things that I really try to prioritize. I like to have these after the gym. And honestly, a lot of times I like to just have them for dessert because when it's the end of the night, if I'm like hungry for sweets and I just want to eat something sweet, I'll have one of these and it actually keeps me full and satisfied, but it's really sweet too. So it satisfies my sweet tooth as well. I've been loving these. We've repurchased them so many times and we've gotten them at some other stores, but usually we just go back to Costco and get the two packs that they have. Okay, the last salty snack that I'm sharing today is one that I've talked about probably in every one of these videos. I'm not kidding. I went back and I did mention them in a couple of them, but I'm just mentioning them again because it's just one of the salty snacks that I eat all the time and I've consistently eaten these since I found them. It's been like years now I feel like since I've been eating these but they are the Mighty Spark Chicken Sticks. So my all-time favorite flavor is the Honey Jalapeno. It is so good. It does have a kick to it and you can definitely taste the sweetness which I like and it's two points for one but the other one I've also been eating a lot more is their Sea Salt and Pepper and this one's only one point for the stick which I like. I don't have all the nutrition on here but they both have six grams of protein 
This one's 60 calories. I think this one's 50. I can't read it on here, but pretty sure the salt and pepper is 50 calories. They've got a little bit of protein. There's something salty when I want something salty and just need like a quick snack. Honestly, these give me a little bit of an energy boost. That's why I really like these honey jalapeno ones because they are satisfying. And I think for the size, it's pretty good for two points. Also, they're just better texture in my opinion compared to a lot of like the turkey sticks we used to eat a lot of, which we still eat them from time to time. But honestly, these have just become my favorite meat sticks out of every brand that we've tried. I repurchased them in the big packs off of Amazon. It's like a 48 pack and we go through it so quickly. So we love these. Adam brings them to work all the time. I have them almost daily, honestly. And especially when I'm like hiking or skating or having a more active day, it's a really easy snack for me to bring on the go for six grams of protein and only 50 to 60 calories. Okay, the last thing that I'm sharing today, I had one extra sweet that I just wanted to include because I have been loving this lately. And all it is, is the Panda Puffs cereal. So it is a peanut butter cereal. It honestly reminds me so much of the peanut butter Captain Crunch. I think that's what it was. It was like peanut butter Captain Crunch and it was just peanut butter balls or something. I might be wrong with that, but it's not as sweet as those types of cereals. And that's kind of why I like it. It's got a good peanut butter flavor to it and isn't over the top. This has become one of my favorite toppers for yogurt. I love adding it with berries to my vanilla yogurt, but sometimes I honestly like just snacking on this plain or having it in a bowl of milk. And so it's become one of my favorite sweet snacks when I'm craving something sweet. So for the serving of a cup, it's got 170 calories. It's got four and a half grams of fat, 31 carbs, three grams of fiber, nine grams of sugar, and three grams of protein. And that serving is six points on Weight Watchers for one cup. So it's a little higher point than some of the cereals we've tried, but honestly, it's really not that bad. And I don't always have the full six point serving. A lot of times when I add it to my yogurt or a snack bowl, I do like a two to three point serving. I get this at Trader Joe's, Meyer, Fresh Time, and Woodman's is where I got the big bag like this but it's been popping up more or I've just been noticing it more at places in the cereal aisle. And again, it's just one of my favorites. So it's become one of my favorite sweet snacks. It is also gluten-free, but this is something that I've been buying all the time now. So that wraps it up for my video today. Those are my current favorite salty and sweet snacks that I've been reaching for. This is of course on top of the fruits and vegetables and protein that I definitely prioritize throughout the day. But there are times when I wanna have a packaged snack like this or a store-bought snack that I can just grab for convenience. And just as things that I enjoy. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.